Welcome back to GSC again. Something that I can't remember if I've discussed with everybody is PMD re relocation kits, replacement kits, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip the camera on and explain this whole PMD relocation thing. It's a, a heat sink and a cable and Leora diesel cells and they're really nice actually. That's where this one came from. So I have a spare PMD here out of the truck that I keep in the glove box usually. And that way I can show you what a PMD is, talk about the resistor inside, because that is also a very important thing. And just give you a general overview. So let me flip this around and we'll get moving. On your 94 to 2065, you have this thing called a pump mounted driver. It goes on the side of the injection pump. If you look down here, there's this nice big flat pedestal where it would sit down there. This one's right here keep it in the glove box. I always keep a spare. Something that people don't realize is that there is a resistor in here. If you look down inside, this is a number six. I usually run between a five and a two. If you don't have a resistor in your PMD, you can have random idle problems. You can have rough idles. You can have spastic throttle. You can have hard starts. So make sure that your PMD as that little fella down in there. All right, now that we've explained the PMD, this is what fires your injection pump. It's it's kind of like a brain of sorts. There are resistors in the backside and they're calibrated. So injection pumps are typically calibrated to the resistor inside the plug as well. All right, so here's our harness. It comes off the back of the injection pump. This one right now runs this way and down here and down there, and then it comes through the core support to right here. As you can see, here's my nice Leroy diesel heatsink and my PMD that's been relocated for the last half decade, actually longer than that. So by putting the heatsink behind the bumper like this, the bumper acts as a heatsink. There's airflow. These have fins and veins on them, so it allows for air movement. Mine. I tucked it away like that because this is a farm truck. I've had debris come through the nostrils and the bumper. I've had other things get caught in there in the past. Animals, grass, hay, branches. So that's your PMD relocation kit. PMDs get hot. They tend to overheat and then they cause spastic throttle, rough idle, high idle, um, poor fuel economy, and they can overall make your day very eventful. So if you have a 94 to 2000, look up the Leroy Diesel relocation kit. You can either put it right here in the bumper like I did with mine. Some people put them up over here. Some people put them up on this side by the fuse block or on the firewall. The choice is yours, but it is definitely an upgrade that is worth doing to improve the longevity and the lifespan of your truck. Hopefully it helps somebody out. And thanks, guys.